Caspa, is actually possible to surpass 100 billion market cap? Is this insanity? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I'm Chris, and today we're about to uh, make a typical update on Caspa. We're going to uh, see what's going on on Bitcoin because Bitcoin chart and, yeah, Bitcoin fundamental situation is really bullish at this point, and I would like to show you, yeah, very bullish things. And at the end of the video, we're going to reply to my friend, um, Derek, as you see here, because he wrote 100 billion market cap is insanity. Uh, he thinks two to three dollars max this bull run. And I like to reply these kind of questions because, first of all, Derek was kind, okay? Like, obviously, if you're not kind, it's BBB, block ban buy. There is no way to, to spend my free time to reply to you. But because Derek was kind, actually, yeah. I replied to him. So I took the chance to create this video to give you an overall answer because I know lots of people, as you saw, um, some people liked the comments. So yeah, I said, okay, let's answer publicly this statement. So smash the like button, subscribe to my channel for more alpha videos like that. And guys, let's jump straight on what happened since yesterday. Uh, on Caspa price, Caspa price is 4.5% down. You are lucky. Like right now, you have more chances, guys, to pack your bags. And uh, yeah, 11.8 cents below 20 cents. This f kind of 5% down is giving you an opportunity, guys, to pack your bags before the KRC20, before the exchanges. Uh, some small discount that in reality, I don't believe it's going to last so much. Bitcoin is moving really bullish. So there is a probability the market to reverse if the situation of Bitcoin going to continue anyway. 2.8 billion market cap. And guys, as you see here, has rate returned. Okay, back to 246.83 uh, petahertz per second. It dropped to 210 after that uh, reached new 88s at 261 petahertz per second. And guys, as you see here, uh, we had a decrement on uh, nodes that mined by Rust, probably because yesterday, if you remember, we saw a big drop, a big fall of hash rate. Okay, I told you that it was um, two situations probably that the hash rate dropped uh, to 210. So that's why maybe we had some 10% uh, down yesterday it is what it is i believe um probably now that hash rate returned probably next day like today uh, but we're gonna have the data tomorrow we're gonna have back to 29 the uh, nodes that mined by rust but we're gonna see okay i'm not that kind of expert around the mining i don't know that much about it anyway let's move into the technical side that i <laughs> i have some more uh, knowledge. Uh, guys, as you see, right now uh, we found weakness. We broke the 200 daily moving average. And as I have told you, this is a signal, a big signal that when you see like whatever project below the 200 daily moving average, actually screaming massive discount like Black Friday. Okay. And you see all of these prices were very big discount after all of these uh, big prices that we had for days. Okay above 200 daily moving average. So that's giving you some confidence to pack your bags, okay? Either when it's retesting the 200 daily moving average because there is a probability to do not break that, okay? And actually stay in a consolidation phase and moonshot. <laughs> As uh, in reality, this is how I packed my first bag of Caspa. I will say that really fast because guys, this play a role to understand a couple important things around how I accumulated, okay, like, yeah, some knowledge on uh, the topic. I was observing Caspa for, uh, from the last April. I bought my first bag at 1.5 cents. It was the biggest bag that I have ever bought in my life uh, on Caspa. And I bought it upon the second retest of the 200 daily moving average because at the same time we were breaking the this kind of resistance, okay? And the reason that I didn't invest all in here and I just bought a big bag, it was because there is a probability to, to fake out here and to drop like lower. 
Um, but it didn't play out this scenario. It played out the scenario with uh, that I was expecting in some way uh, that we broke the downtrend movement and the pump. I, I was expecting more. Okay. And um, when we retraced back to this support of this upturn movement, I went all in. Okay. The rest is history. You know, afterwards, uh, the rest situation. So as you see here, it's remind us some similar kind of situation of uh, after all of that time, right now you can buy with confidence again, okay? Before the next 10x, okay? Before the next uh, 10x. Now we are waiting exchanges, we are waiting big announcements, Rastlang, uh, yeah, exchanges, Rastlang, KRC20, smart contracts, all of these are ahead. Very, very bullish things. And let's go into Bitcoin price because Bitcoin, guys, is moving into massive, massive follow its pattern as well, okay? And it seems that we are breaking this kind of resistance in the daily time frame. You see how beautifully here um, Bitcoin, it seems that it's trying to break, okay? Obviously, we need confirmation uh, with a bigger candle and obviously to close the daily candle above uh, this kind of uh, downtrend resistance. But I would like guys to show you uh, if you remove this resistance, Yesterday, I and the last couple of days, I was speaking about the strong resistance of $61,000. And you see how strongly we kept that the last couple of days. Okay, as you see here, the $61,000, it was very, very strong support. So it seems that we are keeping that at this point. And with this kind of pattern, bullish pattern, we have probabilities to explode. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's see how we're gonna play um, on this kind of uh, price action because we're gonna move to 70 plus $75,000 REITs, new 88s and all of that stuff. Altcoin season gonna come. Um, Caspa gonna explode and not only Caspa, the rest of our picks, Tau, Space Mesh and two others that we got in our portfolio gonna explode a lot and we're gonna do some cooking on Wealthnet. So if you would like to have full exposure into our portfolio, guys, I highly recommend you to join in Wealthnet, high quality group, uh, like-minded people, okay, businessmen, multi-millionaires, elite people. We have many elite people inside of Wealthnet and this is why when we do uh, voice calls and all of that stuff, the conversations are very high quality because we don't speak only for crypto. We speak for crypto, but also we speak for some other more, uh, oh, not more, same important things, okay, uh, as crypto. Decentralization, freedom, and yeah, like sovereignty. Anyway, I uh, highly recommend you to, guys, if you would like to join, join now because you're gonna grab some discount prices and you're gonna see how we accumulate. Um, so, Let's go into some more Bitcoin news, guys. You see, breaking Switzerland biggest bank UBS owns the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF. Like bullish, okay? Let's like that. <laughs> That's really bullish, guys. Really bullish. And also, you see here, Bank of Montreal owns multiple Bitcoin ETF holdings: Fidelity, Franklin, Templeton, BlackRock, and Grayscale. Guys, banks are getting crazy with ETFs. Like you see, like we have banks in the game. Like you need to, to wake up. We are getting straight to the biggest bull run of history. And you see here, Asia just had its largest ever Bitcoin conference in Hong Kong this week, setting record breaking numbers. You see also Asia is coming for your Bitcoin and institutions are coming for your Bitcoin and people need to act immediately if they want to preserve their wealth and not actually get wrecked from the inflation that is coming. Anyway, lastly, El Salvador launched a new website to track their Bitcoin stack. El Salvador is buying one BTC every day. Numbers only goes up. El Salvador, big country, very revolutionized country. Congratulations to their president. Okay, big respect that he cares about his people and probably Salvador in the future, in 10 years from now, it's gonna be the, the Dubai of South and North America. And guys, let's go straight into the topic uh, of the video. 100 billion says my friend Derek is insanity. And guys, if you would like to do questions, do it down below in the comment section and I'm gonna create a whole video, that type of style, okay? Create uh, 
ask what your questions, your concerns around Caspa, and I'm gonna make full videos to reply this as I do right now with Derek. And let's go guys straight to reply our friend Derek, uh, if it's insanity or not. Uh, I'm gonna go straight into the project with the name Cardano. Most of you, you know that. Uh, and I will show you this one, okay, this chart. Cardano also had a previous bull run and also in the second bull run didn't have smart contracts. And Cardano touched 95 billion market cap. I think it's uh, 98, the correct one. It is what it is, close to 100 billion market cap. And uh, this happened with a total market capitalization of 3.3 or 3.1 trillion. Okay, around there. And Cardano actually is proof of stake. It's actually uh, another scam Ethereum, okay? Almost the same style, a little bit faster, I can say, but we, it was, yeah, supposed to be a little bit faster than Ethereum and all of that stuff, cheaper, um, yeah, and all of that kind of stuff. It's definitely security. It's definitely like Solana. It's definitely like uh, Ethereum uh, security. It's not a commodity. It wasn't for Lanced. Um, it's proof of stake, like the early contributors that obviously took pre-allocations and all of that stuff immediately took lots of lots of nodes and actually became richer and are becoming richer every single day. Rich get richer on proof of stake. But I'm not going to stick to these things. Uh, um, I would like to tell you that this project touched because of some hype, because of some strong community, because it was the Ethereum killer touched the 90... 8 billion market cap and with the 3.3 or 3.1 trillion market total crypto market cap and we have now caspa okay that caspa is actually fairly lanced no vcs organic growth from the community no pre-allocation no pre-mine none of that the ultimate fairness okay and revolutionize the way um that satoshi nakamoto had the goal to accomplish, okay, revolutionize the money without the words, peer-to-peer -peer payment plus an, an alternative store value plus a whole ecosystem. So it's co it combines in some way Ethereum and Bitcoin with the most fair way, okay? Fair way plus efficient way uh, because it's proof of work, it's a commodity. And guys, everyone knows, like if you're gonna, like there isn't a person that if you're gonna sit down and um, do his research, deep research, to tell you like Solana is better than Caspa or Cardano is better than Caspa. You cannot find a layer one that is better than Caspa. You cannot find. Caspa has the best tokenomics that we have ever seen uh, in history of crypto. Okay, like it has the same fundamentals like Bitcoin, uh, the, the same main principles. This is why we say like... Um, Bitcoin was uh, the test net and Caspa is the main net. And uh, guys, for me personally, Caspa can reach even 200 billion market cap um, on this bull run as a conservative price prediction without smart contracts. Because if you're going to do an out zoom and you're going to see that this bull run is heading according to all the news that I tell you every single day around Bitcoin and how institutions are coming for your Bitcoin, uh, we're going to jump to the biggest bull run of history. 10 to 15 trillion is where we're gonna stand out, okay? The total crypto market cap, like three to five times bigger bull run than the previous one. And guys, Cardano had 100 billion. Now we have the best crypto, not another Cardano, not another layer one. We have the best layer one that we have ever seen. And you think that we won't surpass 100 billion market cap? With, let's say 12 trillion, okay, Let, let's see that we're going to pick out a 12 trillion, even now, like even now we are uh, 2.5 uh, trillion market cap approximately. We have lots of lots of space for growth. From here we can pump out five times the world crypto market cap, okay. And you think that with 12 trillion, Caspa won't have the 1.7% of that total crypto market capitalization? From the 12 trillion, for example, okay, 12 trillion is a random number. If Caspa gonna touch 200 billion market cap, gonna acquire 1.7%, is that crazy? That That's not insanity. That's very possible target for the best crypto that ever existed. You need to realize what you are holding, guys. It's 
once in a lifetime opportunity to change your life. Casper is heading straight to top 10 projects and you need to act and wake up. Okay, how to act? Research, research. Like you're gonna see community strong, we have the hype, we have everything. Exchanges are ahead. Uh, and Derek actually replied to me that Cardano reached that number because it had exchanges. And I still disagree. Like, yeah, it had exchanges, but Casper gonna have exchanges as well. Like, it's are coming. Like, we saw um, Tao that listed on um, Binance, another fair lunch project. Okay, uh, also crypto.com back to back. And Caspa is on the road. It's already launched on futures on Binance, Kraken, and many, many um, involvements of OKX around Caspa. Like, these exchanges are going to come sooner than you think. Okay, um, so yeah, that's that's the reality for me. Okay, it's not insanity. My brother Derek and everyone who thinks that this is insanity, it's not insanity. I believe seven point five uh, dollars are is very possible target, and with smart contracts we can touch even three hundred billion market cap. If we're gonna see smart contracts before um, the peak of the bull run, okay, and also the KRC twenty uh, tokens we're going to be able to surpass even the 300 billion market cap and even to touch up to 500 billion. So you need to realize that. We're going to see that on action. Okay, let's see. I was saying these things like since the last summer, <laughs> nothing changed. Like the OGs of the channel knows uh, what I'm, uh, I'm saying right now. Anyway, guys, as I told you, if you are interested to, to know where I save my Caspa, guys, I use Tazim Wallet, self custody yourself immediately, cold storage, not exchanges, not hot wallets. Click the link, use CryptoCris code, grab 10% discount code. Okay, the only way to be safe on this crypto space, cold storage. Okay, I use Tazim for Caspa. It's highly recommended. I believe it's the best for this thing. And uh, from where I buy Caspa, guys, I buy from X and Bybit. Go through my link, sign up, deposit. And guys, you're going to grab some extra bonuses to buy some more extra free Caspa from me. Okay. And uh, yeah, don't forget also, guys, to check my Patreon group because you lose big value, big infos. And also, as I told you, we have massive discounts in our portfolio. You need to act now. And yeah, you're going to have the privilege to buy cheap. And uh, that's what I would like to tell you. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate you for every like and every comment, guys. I will see you all in my next video. Do my next video. Your boy Chris is out. Bye.